Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, take two, I guess. My camera just decided to go. <laughs> so, um, uh, I've done a video on this before. I didn't really, you know, do a video on it, but it was in one of my videos that I used it. But uh, this is my blacksmith drill press. I have yet to find out what company it's made by. Hold on a second. I just actually saw something. Um, let's say A D. Vant number 12. Huh. The AD Vant number 12. Huh. I can't even read what that says right there. But yeah, it's something. And I've never really taken too much into looking at it. But yes, I am a blacksmith. See my forge and my anvil over there. And uh, there's hangers and stuff all over the place, hanging my lanterns and all my other stuff. You can actually see one down there. Yeah, right there, you see that? Sticking out of the wall, that's where I used to hang my kerosene lantern. But, um, yeah, so, um, and I've done a fair bit of drilling with this before. I actually, I do use it a whole awful lot. Um, you know, but I've never really done a video on it. But uh, yes, I did have to tear it apart because the uh, all the holes here that you uh, use for oiling were all plugged up and I couldn't oil it. And this thing was stiffer than a box of rocks or whatever to get the, you know, to move that around, to, to run the uh, chuck down. So I tore it out. This one actually, this top one didn't, here didn't actually even have one. So I ended up drilling a, drilling a hole in there. So uh, the bottom one, I pulled this hole shaft here out you know all this out of here um i had to take out that gear there and i did a good did a good fair bit of cleaning on it um check the babbit in this one this one's good um and i fixed the hole in that one fixed the hole in that one which was plugged with ju junk this one didn't even have a hole so i had to drill one um and i oiled the crap out of it and this thing moves easier than you wouldn't believe how easily this thing moves now This thing moves smoother than ever. And I uh, tore all these side gearing here off to uh, service the shaft and stuff here to check all of those holes. Um, one or two of the ones in the back and stuff were plugged up, but I got them all cleaned up. And then I cleaned out the uh, notch set here in the top. Up here in the top, you see all these little notches. And the way it works is uh, this little thingy here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of light here. Uh, we are doing this with one hand. All right, there we go. Now we can see good. This little uh, thingy here, you flip onto here, and um, then you run this thing out all the way, or you can adjust it. You run this out, and what that allows it to do is on this. Uh, on this thing here, you can't really see, but there's a lobe on this gear. So whenever that goes around, this arm moves back and forth like this. And sits there and just pushes that gear at the top and just goes like that. And very slowly, you know, normally it's like this. You know. But you get the idea, and it just runs the whole carriage thing down. Then when you want to go back up, you just right back up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a video today on the drill press. And um, when it's running, I'll move the uh, camera around. But I'm going to need both hands to get this thing started up. And uh, so, yeah, so I've been ma I made pretty much Swiss cheese earlier today. After I fixed it up, I wanted to make sure that it worked, so I just started drilling holes. And uh, I was just going to get a few more holes in it. <laughs> um, I have good American-made drill bits, so I don't, ever, I don't really have to worry about it going bad. And if it does, I have a drill bit sharpener. Oh, come on. And I've got some cutting oil in uh, this oil can here. A little Craftsman oil can. It's pretty new. Uh, you know, some cutting oil right there.
So, works pretty good. Works better than this other stuff I have that didn't really work that well. But, uh, so yeah. I'm just gonna try and set the camera. No. I did this before. You know, and, uh, see if I can get some good viewing of uh, this thing working. Alright, there you go. So, I'm going to plug this thing in and get this thing going. I'm going to drill one hole just manually without the uh, feed works on it. And uh, just to show you that this thing can drill through metal pretty good. So, uh, you run the thing down. Tool starts cutting a little bit, and then you put a good little thing of oil on there. here is actually a anvil I made out of a piece of railroad track so I don't want to nick it up any. That's my first anvil before my actual anvil. So uh yeah now the second time I'm going to uh run this thing down. I guess I really didn't have to run that back up. Find a place on here to drill the hole. final that's what I was trying to avoid well let's set the camera down and I'll finish it off. Let me scrub it out a little bit. I can get this thing off. Alright, there we go. Fire the button back up. So 
yeah, that's all there is to it. It's a three quarter horsepower motor, Emerson. Runs on 115. Hear it running. So there you guys go. Um, there is a video on my uh, blacksmith drill press. If you like videos on my uh, blacksmithing tools, let me know. I have a bunch of them. I've got my anvil over here, and I've got my forge with the Champion Forge, and um, yeah, and then I've got all my tools here in my blacksmith toolbox. Oh boy, oh boy. Mounted this grinder here to the side. It's this uh, old style toolbox. Trash. You know, my hammers. And uh, these are my fire pokers. For the fire. This one's more simple than the other ones. And, uh... Got a, uh... A whole bunch, bro. I've got eight or ten pairs of uh, some nice tongs and stuff, and um, yeah, and I've got some little little knife making ones. And there's a pair or two in here that I made, um, but uh, yeah, and I've got my bigger hammer here, and then this one, my normal one, just a simple little ball peen. Um, I use the peen part a lot more. They're the ball part a lot more, but, uh, whatever. Ow. God dang it. Come on. <sighs> and I've got the hand crank part for that little uh, hand crank grinder here so that I can sharpen my hardies and stuff when I'm using them. Oh, this is a, uh... Oh, what do you call this? A toasting fork. I uh, cut and split the end here. Um, so I can toast my hot dogs and stuff. And works pretty good. Hanging up over there on the wall, I have a dipper can um, for Coke. And I've got, you know, that hook I showed you there. There's a drive hook there with all my belts on it. And uh, a bunch of other miscellaneous things that I've just made over the years. In here and uh, oh, there's a pair of uh, log skitter thingies there for skin logs out I made those right there those were a very interesting make and I run anthracite coal and I have a bit of coke in there too but uh, yeah so if uh, you like my videos on my blacksmithing tools and my blacksmithing stuff I'll um, I'll get the forge out here pretty soon um, since it's nice outside and now get the um i'll get the forge out light it up and now i'll do some videos um what would be neat is uh is if i could do a live streaming thing through my camera on my um computer um that'd be neat if i could do a uh like li live streaming thing that way i could um have my camera set up and uh, my computer set up and then i can be forging and then people can be asking me questions as I forge. And I think that'd be a neat idea, but oh well. Um, oh, this anvil here, it's a cast iron. The other one there, it says China on it. Um, it's there. It's another stand here for the drill press. The pedestal part for this thing that goes into there and then go, hangs down with the table. Uh, that's missing. Um, I got this thing for a good price of free um, from another blacksmith who got he wanted the um the table part of it but he still has the other part and the thing for holding the table um but i haven't been able to find it yet it's in one of the barns um but uh yeah he's uh he said you know i i needed the table off of his because his table was broken so uh he's like you know hey if you're interested in it let me know and i said yeah i'm interested and uh 
I said, how much you want for it? And he's just like, oh, you know, he's not very much. I got it for pretty cheap anyways. And, uh, and I, you know, was foraging one day and I went to go drill something and he had a uh, hand crank one exactly like this, but has, instead of having a V-belt pulley on it, it has a big flywheel and a tight and loose pulley and on the other side it has a hand crank on it. And uh, I was going to use that and he goes, you know, you need to get yourself a uh, drill press. And I was like, yeah, there's that one you got, you have, um, you know, if you thought of a price and he's just like, you know, I'll tell you what, you can have it. So, um, I did have to, um, do a bit of work on it when I got it. Um, uh, between not too long, I might have to do a bit of babbit pouring. I might have to uh, pour a bearing or two for uh, this thing. You saw me playing with it. There's a little bit of plane, I mean, not that much. I could probably tighten the bolts up on the um, babbit things in there. And, uh, you know, it would probably tighten up a good bit. But, anywho, rate, comment, subscribe.